twelve thousand words, which by the way, um lost a bunch of publicity because Eddie Murphy didn't host the Oscars. So I was thinking about that the whole time I watched the movie. Seriously? Mm-hmm. It need it did it need its help? It could have used some assistance. Could have used some assistance. So <laughs> I and and honestly now since I have not been to the, the press screenings with the uh, other doughy white men and Gina, mm-hmm. um, I, I had no idea this film existed. I had no clue that an Eddie Murphy film was was coming out. I did not know until yesterday. Really? Because I looked and I'm like, huh, what's coming out? Silent House in a Thousand Words. What are those? And then I looked them up. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's by DreamWorks. And it looks like it looks like Eddie Murphy trying to do his version of Liar Liar. That's exactly what it is. So, so tell us a little bit about it. Well, um, Eddie Murphy is a literary agent who uh, fast talking, literary, fast talking, crazy face making literary <laughs> agent. Uh, he has got to. We got to have more of those. Yeah, he's got a wife and child. He's got a great house. Things seem to be going really good for him until one day, bum bum bum, a magical tree grows in his yard. No, and every word he speaks. A leaf will fall off the tree, and when all the leaves are gone, he will die. And the skies are gray. No, that's wrong lyric. Okay. <laughs> so naturally, if this were real life, a person in this situation with a magical tree might try to seclude themselves somewhere for a few days, sort this out, maybe not talk to anyone. But no, because it's a movie and we have to be entertained, he will try to continue his life uh, by not talking to people and making faces and trying to engage in charades with them. Wow, Eddie Murphy doing charades. Yes. Boy, w- where was this when uh, when uh, Win, Lose, or Draw used to be on TV? He could have cleaned up. <laughs> well, we learned he's not very good at it, especially when trying to place his coffee order at Starbucks. Uh, uh, get it, cause because it's... he can't give up Starbucks even for one day. He still uh, goes in there and makes with the hand signs. Because <laughs> there are no coffee makers in his palatial home. No. So it, it gets really silly. There are a few situations like we learn that anything that happens to the tree will also happen to him. Like if some squirrels run around the tree up up and down the bark, he'll go suddenly break into a funky dance because it tickles him. So it's a tree of his life. Yeah. Um, I think it was only established because his first instinct is, well, I'm going to take this tree out. And he learns anything he does the tree is going to hurt himself. So, so it's a voodoo tree kind of a voodoo tree word leaves that equal words yep um okay uh he has kind of an over-the-top assistant it's that kid from hot tub time machine and oh, um yes and kick ass <laughs> ah i see okay. and you know that kid has its moments but most of the time he's just throwing in awkward things that you're like this probably looked better on the page and not out of his mouth. <laughs> well, as I'm reading um, the non nouveau um, in the review. Uh, by the way, it's not a local review; it's a it's a wire review. But apparently, according to uh, the Miami Herald, a thousand words was filmed in 2008. You know, I'm really not surprised by that. It felt a little dated. So, three, possibly four year o- four years old on and, the shelf, and, and they, they, they waited they, for him to host the Oscars. That's, and what, it says the and that's what it says in the review. <laughs> Thank you, Renee Rodriguez. So, well, he clearly has the look of a man who spent a lot of time voice acting for Shrek movies. Ah, uh. <laughs> and how does uh, <laughs> describe how that sort of man looks? Ah, uh, his faces are so big he's forgotten how close the camera is. <laughs> so it's yeah. Oh, okay. but but what I will say about the movie is that. As horrible as the trailer looks, it's better than I expected it to be because so there it's were better than the trailer. Yes. There were some moments of real emotion where I really enjoyed the film. There are definitely some changes I would have made. But overall, if you're looking a scale of 1 to 10, which I consider the change up at 1, because oh, peeing boy. in a fountain is stupid, to Liar Liar, which was, in my opinion, the best version of Magical Thing Has Happened to Me and I Will Change My Life film. Where's, I, that, where's that section of the video store? Yeah, um, they should be grouped together because it would it make it easier. Okay, I would put this around a seven. I see. So it's st- it's it's not horrible. It was better than I expected. Well, you, when you, when I noticed that you have Kerry Washington, Allison Janney, and Ruby D as part of the cast, you're, you're hoping that there's a little bit of credibility to it. I was a little disappointed in Washington. Be- well, but it's She's her character. Wife, right? Yeah, her the character. Wife, comedy wife. Nothing to do. She does not spend a single frame on this film not arguing with her husband. And so then when he's not talking, she's like, we never talk anymore. It's like two days 
into this problem for him, she just that's her, that's her straw. Take note, <laughs> take note, Mr. Slegel. If you're having if you're having trouble being married to Carrie Washington, you're an idiot. So, do we have? I think we have Mr. Lloyd's response. I think that's fitting. It's, it feels like it's fitting for uh, for what Gina just said. Yeah, it's not hella bad. That would be accurate. Okay, how's this compared to to Murphy's? It's not like Norbit Horrid. <laughs> uh, no, I mean he's made some movies that are so bad. I wouldn't wish them upon my worst enemy, but. Uh, it, this is probably one of the better ones as far as him being live action. Wow. But okay. I would watch a Shrek movie over it probably. Even the fourth? Um, I don't know. By that point, there's so many darn kids in the picture. <laughs> At a kid's film. <sighs> yeah. I'd okay. rather watch the first one again. <laughs> All right. That's fair enough. <laughs> so um, let's move on. If you like this review, go to my site at hauntedflowerreviews.com. I also have a podcast on iTunes. Please leave me ratings and comments. Also, we have a store, hauntedflower.com, where you can find the best online apparel and accessories from movies, TV shows, anime, and more. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash hauntedflower, and that's where we have all of our contests, too, so you can win free stuff. Go to indiemojo.com if you live in Indianapolis, and you can find out how to go to free movies. <laughs> 